Bitcoin keeps going up and we speculate what's going to do. You wanna know? Then smash the like button. It's time for crypto news. Crypto to the max with your host Rodrigo Arnedo. You see here price of Bitcoin. We left it in 68,387 and we are right now touching it again. So it seems that the good times are here for good. And we have so many news about that. For example, it seems that we bullied Google into showing the Bitcoin price again. Remember previous uh, video, I told you this was over, but it's back. You can check your Bitcoin price on Google if you want. Consider that Bitcoin is the sixth largest monetary asset in the world right now, surpassing the pound, the Swiss franc, and the Indian rupee. And we had an awesome day for ETFs in United States, meaning institutional money coming into the market and Eric Valchuna summing up the most important stuff about this. Bitcoin ETFs has crossed 20 billion in total net flows, the most important number, the most difficult metric to grow in ETF world. For first time after a huge week of 1.5 billion, for context, it took gold ETFs about five years to reach the same number of total assets, now 65 billion, also a high water mark. Incredible also that exchanges reserves for Bitcoin just hit an all time low. The mind is growing and the offer is less every day. Also, it's interesting that Bitcoin in March uh, was 72K and the Coinbase App Store was ranking on uh, number 20, but now it's $68,000 and on Coinbase App Store, the ranking is 440. The price is almost the same, but retail isn't back at all. They are coming. The views are growing again. So uh, Mice believes that we are going much higher. Also, we have now good news for United States where Vimos is going to have the possibility of buying crypto with MoonPay, and uh, that's uh, 60 million users that can have easier access to crypto right now. It's not the first time you can buy with Venmo, but uh, you have more cryptocurrencies and some other good things with this provider. And also 1.3 trillion asset manager Morgan Stanley disclosed 272 million Bitcoin ETFs holding that's huge for institutions. Polymarket now predicting that a new Bitcoin all time high in 2024 is possible. And the BCE uh, just cut interest rates 25 basic points. So uh, Healthy Pockets here saying that uh, the party just started. Bitcoin is up 30% since Germany sold. Why they didn't listen to Michael Saylor? And also I thought it's interesting this finding that buy orders of 10 Bitcoin or more are being filled. Sell orders that are getting filled are less than 10. Sellers use smaller size and are more likely to dump money. So yeah, the whales are buying and small people just selling. Spain, good news from Spain too. The banks in Spain are getting ready for offering Bitcoin uh, custody buy sales starting the 1st of 2025 because we have Mika regulator. We'll see about that. Watch all videos and I will tell you about that. Also, you need to know that El Salvador first Bitcoin bank is being prepped now. The impact on the economy for El Salvador will be 10x what the current iteration of the Volcano Bolt might be. We should move there. Maybe that's the case. We can go to the Bitcoin bank, deposit Bitcoin, borrow fiat money, and buy property. So we will have the Bitcoin and the property. Well, that seems that a good idea, but maybe we have to go to Brazil. Why? Because maybe you are uh, familiar with the success of El Sonte in El Salvador, but in Cacora, something like that, Brazil is also building a circular economy in its local paradise. So we might go and visit both places. What do you think about that? It's so nice listening to El Salvador President Najib Bukele uh, saying on Fox News that the Federal Reserve is nothing federal and has no reserves. This guy is amazing as Bitcoin is and it is growing faster than the internet as you can see in this picture. 
So are you greedy enough or are you into the fear? Well, I love uh, this uh, finding from today Twitter. The idea here is that at the beginning we were for like three, four years in the one digit. Then we stayed for so many time in the two digits on Bitcoin. Then we stayed a lot of time in the three digits and four digits. And finally we'll have five and six digits. Let's listen to it. So as you can see here on the chart for like four years, Bitcoin was in like the hundreds of dollar range. And it just kind of hung out there. Yeah, like maybe it bounced down, maybe it bounced up. But it was basically in the hundreds of dollar range for like four fucking years. Then it went to the thousands of dollar range and it just stayed there. Yeah, it bounced above 10 briefly, but it went in the thousands of dollars range. Then it went to the tens of thousands of dollars range and it stayed there for three fucking years. And now we're coming to the end of it. What the fuck do you think is going to happen next? You think it's going to go to the zero dollar range? No, it's going to a hundred thousand fucking dollars. The fuck go it. Six figure <laughs> Hey, bitch, go six figures. Six figures for Bitcoin. Well, maybe so. We'll see about that. But right now that you are FOMO with so bad, I'm going to tell you three reasons why you shouldn't buy Bitcoin right now from Red Capital. He says in this video that we are in the top of this uh, parallel channel. And well, you can see that is the time where you have the most risk of getting wrecked as you have these uh, thin weeks uh, that will well, put pressure on Bitcoin price to go down. So maybe at that point is not the best idea for buying, but when we are touching the lower part of the channel. So what do you think about that? Uh, maybe the idea is waiting for pullbacks and also if you see the macro trend, the weekly, etc., uh, you'll find that, uh, well, we still haven't secured that we are in an uptrend. The bubbles today like crazy. We have the meme coins like Doge, Popcat, now one called Mew that is going up like crazy. Flock is up too. Pepe, you name it. All the meme coins, which is a party that you can follow, of course, on Dextus.io. And remember that there you can screen not just one chart, but a lot of charts at the same time as this guy is doing here. You have the link in the description below, of course. You can analyze there the behavior of altcoins that Miles Deutscher is saying we have this bull flag on all these altcoins and we have to go higher. We'll see about that. Cause the other thing is that Bitcoin is still at the highs, but my alt shorts in profit. What does this mean? Well, this means that we still with the dominance of Bitcoin so high, 59% as it was in March 2021. But even though people say this is a bad idea, remember first money from fiat coming to Bitcoin. After that in the cycle, usually it goes to altcoins and then to small caps. Well, it's still we have room for Bitcoin dominance to go higher if we are considering the past. So do not panic out there. You can see that Ethereum Bitcoin pair still on track for Ethereum to go lower. So I believe I have no idea what's going to happen. I'm not expert. I, I believe that there's still room for Bitcoin to be dominant for more time and Ethereum to keep around this price we are right now. Consider that Titan of Crypto is saying the breakdown is imminent. Yeah, well, it was here and here and here. Maybe this time we have the breakout that we had here and we go up. That would be amazing. We are just 18 days away for the elections in United States and the Fed decision of cutting the rates or not. When Kamala Mala Harris grab is starting to look like a pump and up crypto scam token. So yeah, Donald Trump allegedly now with more options of winning. Price of Bitcoin following the Octobers that we told you in previous videos with a 721% rise and uh, not following the bad path that we may expect also. In the weekly, remember, we are now uh, just considering this chart and we might close. It's easy now to close uh, the week in the green. As we told you in previous videos, watch them all 
We told you there also about this chart and how we can go to 100K. Watch the video if you didn't. Stock market in China crazy going up. That's why Bitcoin probably is going crazy up today. Gold hitting record of 2,688. When Bank of America warned that gold may be the final safe haven as U.S. treasuries face risk from rising national debt. Well, I believe gold 2.0 is the safe haven, which is Bitcoin. And NVIDIA has officially hit a new record market cap of 3.41 trillion. Amazing, in my opinion. Bad news from the dollar. It didn't bounce back from the red line nor the green. It's going up. That's not good for our interests. And another piece of information that I found interesting is that the FBI arrested the man behind the SEC Twitter hack who posted the fake spot Bitcoin ETF approval. And remember, that made the market go up. If you want to follow this piece of information, I'm going to leave you the link in the description below. From Italy, bad news just as in Spain, Italy to raise capital gain on Bitcoin from 26 to 42. Then they wonder why everybody is leaving. If you need to do your homework with your taxes, remember coin tracking, the best portfolio tracker and the best tool. The only tool I believe is useful for doing so. Link in the description below. Also to Trezor, you can buy a Trezor Safe 5. You can see how amazing and beautiful it is. The best cold wallet out there. Or maybe you want the Model 1 or Model T, which have both a discount. Any case, let's be patient out there like this dog, the OG, telling us to wait for Bitcoin to go to a million and beyond. If you want to keep on learning, we have a channel about AI called Intelligentsia Artificial. If you want to keep on learning about Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies, of course, here, Crypto News, Rodrigo Arnedo, health, money, love, pouring peace, and the best is yet to come. To the moon!